Hi everyone, welcome back to the Colour Cave. My name is Jem and I like to play with art stuff. I have returned from my travels. Most of you know I was away getting married. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that left me lovely comments and well wishes. That was really, really nice. And um, yeah, everybody loves a good wedding, don't they? I had a fab time. I swithered before we went away because we were away for an extended weekend, whether or not to take my art supplies with me. And everyone said, forget it. It's your wedding. You're going to be far too busy. You're not going to get any drawing done. You're not going to get any, just forget it. Well, I'll have you know, I got some art stuff done. Not much to be fair, not much, a teeny weeny wee little bit, but I found time to myself and took a bit of solace in some scribbling. Yeah, this is what I achieved. Because I am a person that uh, likes to have options, I don't like being confined. It upsets me. <laughs> it's like when you were little and your mum and dad say to you, don't do that. The first thing you want to do is go and do it, isn't it? Yeah. And if they tell you not to do it, it's going to make you do it even more. <laughs> it's like, don't press the red button. Jem's the person that goes and presses the red button. So what I wanted to do when I collected my art supplies together was try and take a myriad of supplies with me that would enable me to go on a whim and, you know, do whatever I wanted to do. So when I put together a set of supplies to take away with me, I tried to include colouring supplies and drawing supplies because all of you know that's that's what I like to do. I wanted to show you what it was I took with me. Um, just to give you some ideas for yourself, maybe you've got a trip planned, you're going on holiday. Just so that you can see a, a sort of all-rounder package, if you're like me and you kind of like to have a little bit of everything. Everyone likes to be nosy and I'll uh, let you see what I took with me. So this is my travel kit and what I have here is a Derwent carry-all and it's basically a tote bag for you to store your art supplies in so that you can travel about with them. I do know that a lot of people like to use these just as a pencil case to keep all their precious, maybe more expensive coloured pencils in. But to give you an idea, um, you can see that to scale I do have quite small hands and it has this sort of carry handle here with a little velcro strap on it so that it's nice and easy to carry about. There are clips on either side and the bag itself does come with a, a long carry strap uh, that, so that you can sling it over your shoulder. I just tend not to use that. I've usually got enough bags and things to carry so I can just walk about and swing it about with me. There is a wee pocket here at the front. If the carry-all itself is quite full, you know, if you've put a lot of stuff in it, you're going to struggle to get an awful lot in there, but it does have a little Velcro fastening just to keep things nice and secure. If I turn it on its side here, you can see it is quite fat. Um, this is full, obviously, I've got all my supplies already in this. If you carry less in it, it does squish down a little bit, so if you have to put it in, say, your hand luggage at the airport, you, you will be able to, you know, sort of minimise it, as it were. And there's one zip that runs all the way around, and it does unfasten, and it basically unzips into a sort of book format. So I'm just going to undo the zips here. And there's two that come together in the middle, so you can put a padlock on them if you want as well. Ooh. Ooh. Now I'll get on to what I've actually got in here in a minute. I just wanted to explain a little bit about the carry-all first. There is a stretchy strap in on this side. And this, I mean, this is quite deep. You can get quite a, you know, quite a few things in here. I've just got one wee sketchbook rattling about in there, but that strap would take more in there. So there's plenty of storage just in that one side. There's then this clip fastening like a ring binder and there are leaves within it. The, it comes with three and they're basically just little elastic straps for you to hold your pencils in. These leaves are flexible, they do bend. Um, so again, if you've got other things inside your carry-all, it will mould to the shape and they're not rigid, so it just gives a little bit of manoeuvrability. So it comes with three leaves. You can buy extra leaves and you can add them in. And again, depending on how much you want to put in it, I would say you could probably fit maybe another two or three leaves in this comfortably. 
In this back section here, there is a, a zip pocket. It's a sort of mesh pocket. And it lets you see everything that's floating about inside as well. So, and again, there's plenty of storage in there. So you're not going to be short in space. The only thing I will say is you won't be able to fit uh, most adult colouring books inside one of these. It's just not big enough. And if you're going to be carrying sketch pads, it's going to be A5. Anything bigger than that and you're either going to damage the corners or you're going to struggle to get it in. Some of the sort of squarer shape ones, the smaller ones, may fit in. Um, I haven't got one to hand to try but again I think it would be a, a bit of a tight squeeze so that is the carry-all and in, in this zip here I have actually got some of my own hair that I've got caught in the zip because <laughs> I need to take that away with me oh dear me anyway right so moving swiftly on in this elasticated side I have a hardback A5 sketchbook when I travel, I just like to have something to draw in and I find the hardback sketchbooks are just a bit easier to, to carry about and it means you don't, you know, you don't have to find something to lean on when you're, you're you know, if you're sitting on a train or wherever because you've got that nice hard back so that's something that I always take with me when I go away and sometimes it's just to doodle it's you know it's not necessarily masterpieces um but that's uh, that is my go-to when it comes to drawing and sketching in the leaves section I have got a full set of Faber-Castell polychromos there are 120 pencils in the set and these elasticated parts will take two pencils in together, they're not individual, so that has allowed me to fit the entire set inside this case, which is amazing because sometimes in the past I have taken a pencil case with a sort of selection of pencils and a limited colour palette and the minute I do that I always regret when I sit down and think, oh I wish I'd brought this colour, oh I wish I'd taken this pencil instead of another pencil. This way absolutely spoiled for choice and I don't have to limit myself which is really nice. It's also left me on this third leave it's left me some extra slots and this is really where I find that the carry-all has come into its own for me because I'm a person that likes to go on a bit of a whim and uh, you know no, if I just take one colouring book with some pencils I'm going to wish I had my drawing stuff with me and vice versa. So my polychromos pencils stop here that is the end of the entire set. And in this section here is more of my sort of drawing things. So these are my go-to things that I would take with me to give me that sort of variety and option so that I don't feel limited or restricted. So I have a, a burnisher and a blender pencil here. Truthfully, I don't use the burnisher very often, but I do like the Derwent blender pencil uh, with the polychromos. It seems to work really well. So I've always got those with me. And I have a selection of the Palomino Blackwing pencils. These are my favourite pencils to draw with. So I have them in varying graphite firmnesses. They don't have the standard um, lead classifications that other drawing pencils have, you know, like your HB or your 4B. Uh, they come in firm, well, extra firm, firm, soft and very soft so I have the, the Palomino black one, that, that's the original pencil, it's sometimes uh, referred to as the MMX. This is your softest, darkest pencil and it makes a hell of a mess, but it's good fun. <laughs> this is the sort of middle of the road one, the Pearl. And the, the little one that I've got here, this sort of little diddy one, this is the 602. This is my favourite one and that's one of the firmer graphite pencils. And uh, I find it's generally quite an, a good sort of all-rounder. I've got two bog standard, <coughs> excuse me, two bog standard sketching pencils and these are WH Smith pencils. I just really like them. These were given to me um, as a gift in a set and I, I just, I like using them. They're, they're nice. So I always take those with me too. And this pencil is a Mars Lumograph, but it's an aquarel. So although it is a graphite pencil, you can use water on it. Uh, it is water soluble and that comes with some really, really nice effects. I did do one of the scroller challenges. I can't remember what month it's from, but I used this pencil and activated it with water. And what I'll do is um, I'll pop a link up in the corner here uh, in the card and you can go and watch that video if you want to see that pencil in action. It's really, really cool and I really like it. So that's me in terms of drawing pencils. Two fine liners. 
Again, just to give me a variation in width, should I decide to change my mind. So I've got two Pigma Microns here, and I've got the 08 and the 02. The 08 is a 0.5 millimeter tip, so that's it's quite a quite a, a fat nib on it, and it's good for nice thick bold lines. And the other one, the O2, is a 0 0.3, so that's much, much finer for, you know, a bit more sort of detail work, that kind of thing. So, that's that. So that's really my sort of sketchy, drawing-y type stuff. And in this pocket here is what I just refer to as everything else. <laughs> so if I open this up, these are the, the polychromos pencils that I was using in the picture that I coloured while I was away. Okay, so kind of standard fade in here. Always carry a ruler in case I want to draw a straight line. Nothing special there. I also have a Statler eraser. This is my, my favourite eraser. This is like my sort of safety blanket eraser. Um, these are really readily available. They're cheap and they're just really, really good at rubbing out graphite. I've got my kneaded eraser, which I use for lightening up any sketchy lines that I have. If I decide I like the shape of it, you, all you have to do is sort of press it onto the paper and it will lift some of the graphite, but it will still leave the line work just much, much fainter. And again, that was just one from WH Smith, which for our friends elsewhere is a UK stationer and news agent, which has been on the go since... Um, since the Lord was a, a little boy kind of thing. So you can pick these up really easily. If you don't want one of these, you can use a, a lump of blue tack, um, you know, sticky tack or white tack. I've got some here. It's pretty much the same stuff. Apparently some people have told me, and I have heard, that this is really good for lifting colored pencil rather than a kneaded eraser. So if you fancy giving that a go, handy hint for you. Pencil sharpener, my trusty Tagal multi sharpener. I like this sharpener because it keeps all the sharpenings together and I don't have to mess about with pots or tubs or finding a bin somewhere. And also the fact that I can vary the point size. So for going away, it is ideal for coloured pencils and my graphite pencils as well. When I'm at home, I do have favourite sharpeners that I use on different pencils, but in the interest of keeping everything condensed, this is a really good all-rounder. This is my normal graphite sharpener, my little bullet sharpener, and that's just awesome. I really, really like it. And I, I just decided this time that I would take it with me. A wee blending stump. Again, just a little one for when I'm sketching. These are just made of paper. They're nothing fancy and you can pick these up really, really cheap. And it is much, much better than using your finger if you're doing pencil drawings. Because when we use our finger, the oils from our skin goes onto the paper and it can cause you issues sometimes. And if not, it just often ends up looking quite grubby, no matter how clean your hands are. So I, again, I recommend having one, especially since they're so cheap. My Derwent battery eraser. You've all seen one of these by now. Um, just a really great tool to have. If I was, if I had less space, if I didn't have the carry-all, I would leave this behind because it is heavy and it is quite bulky. But just because I've got so much space, you know, I've got that luxury, I decided I would take that with me as well, just for getting into sort of finer spots. I have an extra fine liner here. Uh, again, you can see that I'm fangirling the WH Smith. This is the tiniest point. It is a 0 0.1 millimeter tip. It is so small. You can barely see it and they get wrecked so easily. Um, again, not something, can you even see the tip of that? You can see the dirt in my hand more than you can see the tip. <laughs> um, yeah, not something I would normally carry about, but again, the luxury of space, so. Yeah, I tend to use this for correcting line work in colouring books. Perhaps if the line work isn't of particularly high quality or if I've made a mistake, um, I can use this to go back over and gently fill in the line to the thickness of the, you know, the rest of the work on the, on the paper. Hmm, what else? Pencil extender, just in case I get overexcited and munch down one of my pencils, they're always handy to have. I took the silver one, uh, the, I, these are Derwent ones and they come in packs of two. You get a black one and a silver one in the same pack. The silver one is slightly wider and it fits the Polychromos pencils. If I'd had, say, my Prisma colours, I would have taken the black one. So that's just to fit in with, you know, whatever pencils I've got with me. A good old trusty Jelly Roll, my Jelly, Jelly Roll 10, which is my favourite 
again that's more for colouring than actually drawing um to you know pop highlights in and you know brighten things up a bit and that kind of thing so always good to have a white gel pen one of my trusty zig water brushes again you'll all know by now i'm a great fan of these and i, I picked the medium there was no particular reason other than it's middle of the road it's a good brush size you can fill it with water before you go it's not going to leak and i brought that along to use with my uh mars lumograph aquarel pen so that was the the reasoning behind that i never got around to using that i didn't have enough time but again i just like to have the choice brush for dusting off more for coloring don't use that much in in terms of drawing unless i'm starting to use colored pencils on one of my sketches but that's more for my coloring books and last but not least this is my this was a blank copic marker there's nothing in it and i filled it with zest it mineral spirit that was a handy hint that came from Erin over at Simple Art for Adults. She did do a video on that originally and it was a while ago. I'll pop a link to it in the description below. This has been an absolute lifesaver. I like to colour in Bennett Klein's colouring books and they are all on Create Space paper. And I took one of his books with me when I went away to get married. Using one of these with any sort of odourless mineral spirit in it makes colouring in Create Space books an absolute delight. And it works really, really well with the polychromos pencils. So because I'd taken Mr. Klein's book with me, I brought the Copic marker. And that is it. So you can see the, the, the sheer volume of art supplies that I have brought with me on that trip is absolutely astounding. The amount of stuff that you can fit in one of these carryalls is bloody brilliant. I love it because I'm one of these people that if you, you know, if, if you say, oh, you can't have that or, you know, you can't take that with you, I automatically want it. I am that person. So to be able to take such a wide range of tools and supplies for both drawing and colouring is absolutely delightful. And I was not stuck and I was not left wanting at any point over my wedding weekend. So yeah, you can see, I would just like to say at this point, I've not been sponsored or asked to do this by Derwent or anything. I just really like the carryall. I have the smaller pencil wrap version, um, which I'd maybe take on a day trip if I didn't have a lot of space and it's one you can pop into your handbag. I'll maybe have a look at that another time. But I really just wanted you to see the range of art supplies that I would actually carry about with me because it is quite substantial. And I just just wanted everyone to get a look at the kind of things that I would take with me which allows me to draw and colour. The only thing that happened was that I had to carry my colouring book separately. I could have picked a smaller colouring book for example um let me think Thomas Kincaid's Disney Dreams collection that would fit in here. But I wanted to colour it in Hannah Carlson, so I just carried that separately. But again, being a hardback book, it's a, I would say that's a much better suggestion rather than taking a soft back book. And what I did was I put Bennett Klein's book inside, you know, just sort of tucked it in just to stop it getting shoved about so much. So there you have it, guys. One carry-all. with all this space and that gave me sketchbook 120 artist grade pencils in the full range blenders and burnishers one two three four five six sketching pencils three fine liners three erasers and all the two sharpeners and all the associated bits and bats and all of it just folds up into this little bag and you can zip it up tuck it all in, keep it nice and safe and tidy, keep everything clean. And it is literally no bigger than two of my hands. So there you have it. I hope that gives you some inspiration and some suggestions if you are traveling, if you're maybe going away this summer on a trip or you're going on holiday. There you go, go and fill your boots. Get your stuff packed up and do some drawing and some beautiful colouring. If you like this video, you know what to do by now, guys. 
thumbs up are much appreciated. If you haven't subscribed and you like this sort of thing, you can go ahead and do that. I try to vary my videos so that there's something for everyone. And I do put out two videos a week, once on a Monday and once on a Friday. So thanks for joining me once again, everybody. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.